Hi, fishy folks. Michael from Michael's Fish Room here. Hope everyone is doing spectacular. I have to tell you something. If you watch my channel, you know I don't hide much in the fish room. If I have dead guppies, I show you dead guppies. If I'm missing a fish, I'm missing a fish, I talk about it. If something's not breeding or something's not going right, I talk about it. Well, I'm a little pissed about uh, a situation I have, and I thought I would share it with you. So, as you know, if you watch a channel, I uh, have been sorting the pleckles lately. And for the most part, I always fed these algae wafers from Hikari, which aren't terrible. I mean, they're not great, but they're not terrible. Um, to my plecos all throughout my fish keeping career. Recently, I've started feeding cucumber and zucchini, and I've heard they like watermelon, so when watermelon season comes, I'll probably feed them that if they like it. Um, I've been uh, trying these uh, grazing wafers from Ocean Nutrition. The fish really seem to like them. Um, but I was looking for something even better, something more. And so I did some research and I found out that on eBay, you can buy from California Blackworm the spirulina algae and veggie wafers by Ziegler Premium Foods. 100% USA made. I'm in love already. Premium pleco and catfish food. Good analysis. When I looked at the ingredients on the, their website, it seemed pretty good. The prices were great. I've heard of California Blackworm. They seem like a very reputable company. When I go on eBay, they have like a 99% or better approval rating. So I'm like, sweet. So when you buy algae wafers, what do you think the algae wafer is going to do? Float or sink? I'm assuming sinking, right? So I order. Shipping is super fast, quick. That's what super fast means, dummy. And well packed and I'm excited. And I drop a couple of wafers into one of the tanks where there's a, a pleco and guess what? Floated. I'm like, That's weird. So I sort of push it down, right back up. I'm like, huh, that's kind of strange. So I put them in all my pleco tanks, which let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different tanks of plecos. And guess what? I probably dropped about 20 in, in, in total. Guess how many sank? That's right, none. So I'm like, well, maybe it's a bad batch. I don't know anything about making fish roots. So I email or I message through eBay. And uh, let me show you what he says. Okay, so his response after I said, are they supposed to sink? Yes, they are to sink. There will always be a few slower than others. We use them in our pleco colonies. You can see there are over 400 positive reviews out of more than 3,100 orders shipped. 3,178 sold, see feedback. If you're not pleased with them, please feel free to return them. Dan, Aquatic Foods. Now I'm thinking to myself, all right, that's pretty straightforward. They're supposed to sink. 400 out of 3,100 people said they gave positive feedback. If you don't like them, return them. Sweet, I'm thinking. That's a pretty good deal. So I respond. He responds back. Let me, let me get there so I can read it. So I respond to him, well, they're not sinking. And they're really not being eaten either. I mean, they sink after a while, not one to two minutes. So he says, pretty strange. I don't have an answer as to why. They should sink within one to two minutes at the longest. I just went and dropped some in my tanks, and yes, some, slow, some sank slower than others. If they won't work out, just return them. All right, a little bit of a two there. Now, again, I'm like, aquatic foods underscore blackworm underscore CO, 17,916 positive feedback. All right, something's going on here, right? Maybe maybe I'm the guy that's the a-hole, right? And, and he's he's like doesn't know you know that i'm not i don't i'm not trying to scam them i'm just saying they don't they don't work all right next response i wish i could see my responses probably could if i go through email i think i asked him if he pays shipping because the whole thing was like 13 bucks i mean it was cheap look how many it's a pound and you know what's funny i weighed them when i got them and there was more than a pound in here so he says yes He'll pay for the return. You should start the return option. It should give him a chance, though. Try personal in a cup. Up to you, though. Try personal in a cup. I guess that means put one in a cup and see if it sinks. I don't know what that would, how that's different than a fish tank. 
especially because I don't have any Plecos in a cup. Here's where it gets interesting. So I start the return. eBay sends the standard. Thanks. You know, if you can't work it out, let us know in a couple days. We'll step in. Here's, here's what pissed me off. Hi, Michael. Probably standard. So it says, type algae wafer. Some will sink slower than others. Returns accepted. Return reason. Item defective or doesn't work. His response? Fish, is, fish food is biological, not mechanical or electrical. It cannot be defective or not work. Well, first of all, I didn't put that in. That's the only choice that eBay gave me. There was no other put in the reason here. It was like a drop-down menu. We're all fish keepers. We know we can't predict a fish's likes or dislikes. Okay, in eight tanks, not one pleco ate them. And most of the snails even left them alone. I'm, I'm like, oh, spirulina, great protein. These, these should be fantastic. Veggie wafers, I'm thinking great. Nobody liked them. So then it says, return reason, inaccurate website description. I, I didn't write that. I don't know where he got that from. All item descriptions are accurate. Product photos are not exact. Color and sizes may vary. Return shipping will be paid by buyer. Additional return policy details. Return shipping will be paid by buyer. Restocking fee 20% to 40% restocking fee may apply depending on condition and circumstances and amount of product originally shipped. Additional return policy details. Any return food products must be undamaged at least 95% of purchased weight. If product is damaged less than 95%, refund will be calculated accordingly. Now, he told me to give it a try, so I, I fed it for like three or four days. So yes, it's less than 95%. See, the bag's not full. I'm pissed. I think he's being a... Rhymes with Rick. That's what I think. I'm pissed. Let me show you how they sink, okay? Let's go watch. All right, fishy folks. So I'm sitting here in front of a 90-gallon tank. There's a ginormous pleco that looks like he's got a poop string that's like 10 feet long. I'd show you, but it's probably gross. So let me show you. First, we'll drop in one of the Ziegler Premium Fish Food Spirulina Algae and Veggie Wafers that I bought on eBay from California Blackworm. See it floating up there? And hands going after it. So, all right. I'll see if in two minutes if it sinks. One to two minutes. We'll see what happens. Let's close the bag. Now, let's go with Ocean Nutrition Grazing Wafers. There are little, there are little tiny discs. Can you see? Let's see. That's floating too. Oh, look, it just sank. What was that? Five seconds? Six seconds? Look, I'll do another one. Because maybe it's a fluke, right? As soon as they all get wet, as soon as the whole disc gets wet, it drops. You know what? Let me put another one of these Ziegler specials in and see what happens. Because maybe, maybe, just maybe, I got one fluke. We'll drop another one in. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. I could be proven wrong here. Oh, look at that. It's coming up to the surface. Oh, it's going down. It's like somebody's controlling it. Okay, now I've got six in there. One definitely sank. One out of six sank right away, right? One is kind of dancing. The other one's still floating on the top. Now we got Hikari. Very well-known brand. Probably everyone's favorite. It sinks right away. We'll grab another one. Sinks right away. So, here we are. Two full minutes after I put the first one in, and guess what? Can you see it? 
Can you see it right there? One to two minutes. Nope. Now, of the six Ziegler brands I put in, none of them are on the bottom. One of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, now five of them are all floating. Maybe one of them is on the bottom. I think one of them, one out of six fell to the bottom. Let's watch. I'm gonna just let you guys uh, watch them in fast motion and I'll show you the clock. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think I'm smart enough to do that. So long story short, we're almost three minutes in, still hasn't sank. Nope. So what do I do? I'm sure he's gonna bang me for returning a bag that's not 100% full. Even though he told me, yeah, try it out. But to be honest, I don't really care about the $13. I just care that he treated me like a, you know what? That's what got to me, has me pissed. Got me pissed? Thanks. That's what has me pissed. So, there's one that's, can you, can you, can you, can you see, look? How's a plucker supposed to eat that? And here's one, two, three, three over there. And the original one I put in is still over there. Hands trying at it now. So I put that one in about 30 seconds into recording. We're now four minutes. And it's still not at the bottom. All the other ones sank right away. These guys, not floating. I mean, not sinking. All right, fishy folks. I'm gonna come back in a while and see what they look like. All right, fishy folks. It's like half an hour later. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. I'm sorry. There's one, two, three, four, five. So if I dropped in six, one out of six sank in half an hour. Half an hour, not one to two minutes. Now, there's one. Is it sinking? Yeah, yeah, no. So, I don't know, do I have a right to be pissed the way I was treated? Maybe I'm taking it wrong. Maybe I'm the you know what. I don't know. I mean, I am a you know what, but I don't know. All right, folks, that's it for my rant. I just had to get it off my chest. I'm not saying don't buy from California blackworm. Maybe their flakes are good. Maybe their blackworms are good. Maybe I caught uh, Dan, whoever, you know, on a bad day. But to tell you the truth, I'm never going to buy from him again. I would much rather buy from people that treat me well like Lisa at Super Cichlids. I mean, you don't get much nicer than that, but it just just doesn't seem right. I mean, I sell fish out of my basement. If you have a problem, I try to fix it. You know, if your fish dies two weeks later and you let me know, the next time you order fish for me, I'll send you another one. I mean, what do you want me to do, right? I, I just, I'm rambling now because I'm pissed, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the bloopers coming up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, hit up the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Still spring sale going on, 18% off. Use promo code SPRING18. Look at Han. Han's a... Look at him. He's spectacular. Hi, Han. You got a movie coming out, Han. All right, fishy folks, I'm a little bit pissed and I thought I should tell you about it. So as you know, cause I'm like the honest fish keeper. I, I don't want to say honest. I don't think people lie. I just don't think people show you everything. So I'm going to start again. Hello, fishy folks, Michael from Michael's fish room here. And if you watch my channel, you know, I don't really hide much in the fish room. I had a clown. Uh, a ghost clown knife, ghost clown knife, ghost clown. I had something. <laughs> Hiya, fishy folks. Michael from Michael's Fish Room here. And if you watch my channel, you know I don't really hide much in the fish room. If I have dead fish, I show them. If I am missing a fish, I show it. So here's something I have to tell you because I'm a little pissed, to be honest with you. As you know, I've been into uh, guppies. Yeah, I've been into guppies. 
Hello, fishy folks. Michael from Michael's Fish Room here. How you doing? I have something to say. Hiya. Hiya, fishy folks. How you doing? Michael from Michael's Fish Room here. Do me a favor. Gently caress the subscribe button, but smash the like button. Changing things up. All right. If you know me, don't know me, I don't know what I'm saying.